Okay. Except for the chicks being old enough to come out here, pretty much the uh, horse trailer coop is finished. As you can see here, we put wire on the sides. We drilled holes, ran the wire through. We built a a door for the top half because the, the trailer door stopped right there and it was all open. So we built a, my dad helped me, out of plywood and boards. We bolted them through. I'm a little concerned about the rain coming in and getting everything wet or about um, raccoons or something trying to reach through here. So at least on the part close to the perches I may put some chicken wire too, smaller holes. And if it shows rain is coming in, then I'll uh, have to put some plastic down over it or something. I went ahead and put bedding in here, even though they're not old enough for a while, uh, so I can see if it's getting wet when it rains, or how wet it's getting. I put a layer of sawdust on the bottom, and then put hay over it, and from experience in their little cage, the hay will get squished down real fast, but they like being able to dig through it. I'll hang a waterer here in the front and the feed here in the front. I made perches um, just using L brackets to hold it together. That one became a pretzel bracket. I think that's probably enough perch room for all my girls, for eight chickens. If it's not, then we'll adjust. Um, I still haven't blocked off the nest box area. I'll maybe just put a piece of that linoleum up there to block it off until they get closer to nesting, uh, laying age. But I think it's going to work really well. I think the door is going to be sturdy and good. As you can see. So that is my horse trailer to chicken coop conversion it um I spent maybe a total of ten dollars on drill bits and bolts everything else was found or free uh, it may not be the prettiest chicken coop but I think it will work and uh I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have ideas for the sides or whatever, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.